Hello YouTube and welcome to my second video tutorial. This will be a little bit like the first, but today we're going to create this. Yeah, so you see that creepy ghost guy there? Pretty cool. Ooh, just one thing before we start. I am going to use the effect called Trap Code Shine, and you should get that. If you don't have it, you might get some cool stuff with the curves and such too, but uh, that's what I'm going to use. Okay, let's get started. So we have the footage right here, and as you see, the ghost is me in front of a green screen. Okay. So, if we just find there and yeah, we'll end it there, okay. So here we have the comp, then we'll make a simple garbage mask around me and we will take the effect keying key light and pick one of these bright colors then we'll go into a s screen mat and uh, you probably know how to do this and it depends all about what how your footage is but I just have to do some differences with this one to make it look good okay that looks pretty good it's okay we'll go for that for now then the final result yeah it's not so bad so we take screen pre blur, push that up to around five or something. Actually, we take eight. Then I'll use something like simple choker. Okay, the reason I'm using this is because my footage is really bad I did not light the, the green screen enough and yeah so I'll just use the simple choker to get a little bit so yeah we use two there you have it there we have it so if I'll just turn that off now yeah it looks kind of good. I'll just have to. In my footage, you see, we have this weird place right here. So I'll make kind of another garbage mask for that just to make it look better. I'll do like that and mask to subtract. Then we will have mask one and we will feather it quite a lot. So we'll get the bow the legs there. Now see the head and the sides are starting to disappear. So we'll just drag that up. and down yeah we can use that I think so now the cool stuff will use tint again and then trap code shine and as you see that's really weird and reddish and how are we going to use this so what we do we take the ray length 
all the way down to zero and we take the color rise and at the midtones we'll choose this brighter cyan color and in shadows we'll use a little bit darker like this okay that's starting to look good so we'll boost the light up till yeah around here that looks pretty good maybe a little bit deeper color right here here yeah that so just the highlights are white and you see that looks kind of nice um then we'll t the reason i chose to use trap code shine is because I can pick the length up a little so it looks kind of cooler then we'll just take this source point and depending on what you will have I'll have it around there I guess so you see it kind of and he raises this and then it looks good so really that's that and now I'll take this picture of a hallway I found on Google actually I'll take that picture put it below and I'll use uh, levels on that one and make it so that is cool there then I'll take my ghost picture and scale it down so we have him standing around like there yeah there then I'll take our ghost raw and drag it into a new composition we take the composition settings and set it to around double of what your footage was so in my case 8.08 the reason we do that is because mine was really fast so I'll t take it to double length then I'll turn off the audio and take this Athmo 11 another sound from pro scores that sounds really scary and there we have it that's actually all well then that was another tutorial from me Sam Soot in the next tutorial again you choose just leave a comment See you.